Hello everyone, my name is Apple Guy, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. In the previous video, we visited Pinna Park for the first time, and found out that Shadow Mario was actually Bowser Jr. in disguise, and he stole Princess Peach right from under our big Mario noses. So, it is now our mission to recover her. And in today's video, we're going to be working towards that goal by going and grabbing more Shine Sprites from the Pinna Park area. We're going to be starting with Episode 2, and I think we might be able to get to Episode 3 as well. Off we go to Pinna Park. So if you weren't here, Pinna Park is an amusement park. It's a filled with a bunch of rides. We're going to actually be staying on the beach, though, for Episode 2, the Beach Cannon Secret. But we have a very, very large task in front of us. There are six blue coins hidden inside of these baskets. And you best bet we need to collect them all. So, how do we do that? Well, we can uh, bait out these um, bullet bills into hitting where we need them to hit. And that is, um, that's what we're going to have to do. So there's the first one. Ah, these uh, purple bullet bills will actually follow you around. They're homing as opposed to being normal. Okay, there's number two. And then there's some more back here. The beach cannon has huge range, actually. It's going to be able to lock on all the way from over there. And I think it should even be able to hit what we need it to hit. If not, I can always grab one of these purple ones. Yeah, if you grab a purple one, you can um, kind of walk it around into where you need it to go. See, you might have to sacrifice a little bit, but it's okay. Alright, so there's number three. Let's see where's some more. Number four is right here. Hello, Shades Man. That's the man who gives you shades. I don't know if he's going to give me shades, though. Alright, I think I might need a purple one to lock on for this one. Come on, right here. Ah, you missed it. How could you do that? It's right in front of you. Okay, come on now. Just out. Oh, 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 oh. Is it locked on to the wrong guy? There we go. Okay. I think that's number four, right? Oh, you really had to. And then five and six should be back here. Yep, okay. So come on now. Get me number five so I don't have to have this beeping noise. I worry for the, the sanctity of the fan's ears. Okay, come over. Come on. Lock on. Perfect. Did, did, are you locked on? There we go. Okay. And then this one is a, lot, a little bit closer, so it should be easier for... Maybe... Oh, that's a, that's a gold one. Gold one is very fast. And I think it gives you coins if you're able to defeat it. You can defeat them by spraying them, by the way. Oh, come on, purples. There we go. Right on. There we are. Okay, so that's all the coins. We have one, two, three, three. Okay, yep. So we got all six. So the way you're supposed to defeat this guy is if you get up... He will start to throw these um, these little bob bombs, you could say they are, and you throw them and, and you defeat him. Or you can just go like this, and oh, come on, come on, don't make me look bad, come on. All right, so if he's gonna pop back open, you can actually use the invincibility frames you get from the. Come on. Anyway, yeah, you can use the invincibility frames, and actually you can just dive right into the cannon. Oh, that was so close without having to worry about using these, uh, the bob bombs. Here's a video of what it actually looks like. I am, uh, not gonna attempt it. I'm gonna do it the normal way, because I am, I am... Okay, what even damaged me there, man? Okay, come on. Yeah, so that's a video of what it looks like as I just throw bombs at this guy. Pretty boring. Shout out to Dutch J for that video. He's actually a speedrunner for this game. Not sure if he's still active in the, the speedrunning of this game, but he, he used to speedrun it. He does a lot of great tutorials, so check him out if you're interested in learning some more of the glitches for this game. Our guy is now defeated, and we can climb right inside of the pipe, which now has a gleaming gleam going over it. If we drop in, it actually will take us to a secret level, as we predicted, because the level was titled The Secret of the Beach Cannon. Alright, this one has something pretty cool going on with it. Uh, okay. It's, uh, it's got these disappearing platforms. They will darken in color when they are about to disappear, and it's important to not step on them for too long if they are about to disappear. That is that is the deal. Alright, so up we go. Up. Oh, up. Up, Mario. Up. Mm-hmm. Over. Up. Over. No, okay. Come on, you got this, Mario. Up. Okay, up. Come on. It's jumping. You jump every day of your life, Mario. Okay, one. Two, trampolining. Three. Okay, go three again. Four. Change angle and go. Okay, nice. Ah, we have a now, we now have a running pathway. We're gonna need to build up speed and go! 
Oh, good. I'm glad that saved me. Okay, go. Mm-hmm. Nice. And we can totally just round this... Well, if my A input went through, we could have totally just rounded that corner with a spin jump. But instead, we're just gonna fall. Because falling is great. This will be much more easier when we have our flood pack. I feel like that might be a redundant statement. I feel like everything is easier with flood pack. But, it had to be said. Oh, good grab, Mario. Good grab. Wow, I can't believe I've lost two levels, or two lives in this episode alone. Okay, come on. One of them was from trying a glitch, so I'm gonna excuse that one. It's like an excused absence. Oh, Mario, you 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 really gotta work on your precision, my guy. Okay, come on. Up again, up again, and dive. Okay, there we go, that works. Okay, I'm just gonna go for it. I probably should have waited. Oh, they're chasing me down. Okay, we got them. No big deal. Okay, so there's a, a one-up over there on the L-shaped piece, the elbow for this area. I will not be going for it, though, because as much as I uh, need the one-ups at this time... I actually have, like, 17 or something. I think it's 14 now, though. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We got the shine. Easy peasy. So we're going to actually head back into episode 2 now and do the secret level with the red coins uh, when we get flood back. So that is that is going to be what is going on now. And then I think we will actually have time for episode 3. Fingers crossed. But I am I'm feeling confident. Episode 3 is going to be a lot like the secret mission for episode 2, and uh, we'll see what I mean in just a second. Fire off, Cannon. Nice fire. Wow, good job. I really appreciate your effort, Cannon. There we go. The mole has been defeated for a second time. And we can head back into the level now and do our secrets. Get our red coins. All that lovely stuff. In we go. That's what the mole skip would look like if you did it properly. Okay, so... Always switch to hover first, hit this, and go. So, I think all the red coins are actually right here on these uh, these disappearing platforms, and it's because they're kind of difficult, especially when your inputs drop. I really should get closer to the, the transmitter. I really should. Or I should move the Wii. A lot of things I need to do. I'm thinking of getting like an, some sort of entertainment center for below the desk where I do my recordings, because that would solve a lot of connection issues, and also just make switching between consoles and stuff a lot quicker. Come here, thank you. Touch and go. That's like the strategy here. But if you had to name it, it's, it's the touch and go strategy. Okay, see, touch and go. You just have to land very briefly on what you need to, or what you think you need to land on at least. There we go, so that it comes back quickly. I have two more from here, one here in the middle, touch and go. Okay, oh, 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 that, that just, there's just no platform associated with that one, is there? Well, that's in a no man's land. Touch and go. Okay, touch, go! Wh what? What was that downward momentum? That was kind of gnarly. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was wild. I don't really know what to define that as. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled grabbing of red coins with the touch and go strategy. See, here's the touch and there's the go. Okay, touch, go, touch. Go. Okay, this was a little more of an extended touch. Here we go. The hover has plenty of charge on it to allow you to chill for a second if you need to. Okay, maybe having the hover nozzle will help me. Yeah, it's definitely going to help climbing this up. So I can just um, use the hover to kind of control my my angular speed a little bit. Alright, so now we need to go. Go, Mario, go. Race against the clock. Race against the clock. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. Well, now we have to collect it. And that's just an entire 1A press. Hoop. Boom. There we go. Wow, we're almost at 100 blue coins. That's kind of surprising. Alright, it's uh, it's time to head into Mission 3 now. That is what's next on the agenda. Mission 3. And we'll be heading there. Right when I can join back into this cannon. Alright, go! Go where? Back into the cannon. Fire away. And we're soaring. Alright, Pinna Park Episode 3, Red Coins of the Pirate Ships. It's a lot like Red Coins in the secret levels, but these aren't secret. So that is pretty cool. We're also going to be grabbing some blue coins in this level. That's always great. Oh, hello little girl. You're, she's a Noki. And I believe they're new to this game. Like a new race. 
Ah, yes, so I skipped the, uh, the mission statement on accident. There's, uh, there's blue coins. I mean, uh, yes, there's bluebird. That's what I'm looking for. And there's red coins, but also there's this bluebird. And this bluebird drops a blue coin. He just needs to get somewhere where I can zap him. Bluebird, where did he go? Gosh darn it. You made me lose the bluebird. I can't find him anymore. Wait, where did he actually go? Okay, this is the Yoshi go round. It's like a merry go round, but with Yoshis. Neat. Okay. Bluebird, I see him. Oh, okay, the Yoshi go round has uh, made it very difficult to continue to uh, spray the bluebird. Okay, where is he? Oh, come on, get him, get him, get him. Oh, sniped him at midair. Bluebird down. I repeat, bluebird down. Alright, so let's see. Um, where else do we have? Let's head back here. So this is like a little behind the scenes area. There's a lot going on. Uh, for example, there's this stack of stews. They're a stew stack. And they also just got ground pounded. Not really. Dang it. I really wish they would have let you do that. You actually gotta spray them each off like one by one. Okay, you gotta go from the top first, of course. One more, and now you can ground pound them. And they will break into a blue coin. Cool, 99. Wow. -how. That's, uh, that's near the, the big number. And we're about to hit the big number because there is an M up here. And I can hit it, just barely though. But I can indeed hit it. And there we go. Blue coin number 100. Nice. Okay, hello, Noki. Again, how do you how do? You do? A different Noki, but a Noki nonetheless. Alright, just gonna keep rotating around this way now. Ah, triangle. I don't think I've seen triangles yet. Okay, there is the... Oh, okay, I'm not going to really get it. Okay, I did a backflip off, and in the cutscene it executed the backflip. Uh, that's going to make getting the um, getting the triangle, which is just up there. It's not too far away, but it's going to be very difficult because of I'm just off to a late start. Do I have to walk off the screen? Nope, okay. I'm going to say, does it just come back on its own? It does. Boom, so as you can see, the, the Ferris wheel cups are actually going by. It's directly up here. Hold on, I think I have to land a, a super cool... No, come on. Quick! No! It's gonna go away! Oh, no, we got it. Good. Okay. And going down is gonna be a lot easier. Get it! Okay. Oh, that's good. Hold on. Was that a... Was that a... That was a pro gamer move. Wow. And boom! There we go. Two triangles are now done. 102. Nice. Um... Should we grab red coins now? I think we should grab some red coins now. So these red coins, they're on the, the moving ship, kind of. And you can see we can grab... You can grab them. Oh, 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 there was a there's a blue coin up there. I thought I saw one. Okay, here's number two. I will get on the pirate ship now. I was never really a fan of these pirate ship rides because I didn't I didn't like going upside down. Especially didn't like going upside down for no apparent reason. Okay, where was that blue coin? There it was. Okay, and drop. Whew. Look at this view we've got. It's pretty nice, isn't it? I see another uh, blue bird, and I do want to chase him down. Maybe he will come nearby, and we can um, we can live together in harmony. Oh yeah, go away, blue bird! Oh come on, I hit. Oh yes, good snipes again on the blue birds. There we go, 104. Nice, gnarly, gnarly. Okay, so let's head back to the pirate ships then, and let's refill with some water. And then we'll go for these red coins. Let's um let's use this tree actually, because this tree will help us to get a little bit higher up on elevation, give us a bit of a starting point. Well, not when we walk off. That's um that's a bit counter counterintuitive to the point, but we can use this to walk up. Okay, um let's see, this one should be coming back pretty soon. And I can just stand here. Oh, good save, Mario. Good work. Okay. Really, once again, we're working counterintuitive to the point. We want to work with the point, not against it. Um, let's, let's go over here then. Okay, so there's a red coin beneath here. There's also one right there that we need to grab. So if I do... Oh, oh, I'm inside the pirate ship boat. That doesn't make sense. Okay. This just in, Mario phases through solid wood on a regular basis. More info tonight at 11. Come on, pirate ship. Let me on. I just want to have a, a, a real swing in time. Is there another? 
I think there might have been another blue coin that I saw. Oh, 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 okay, hold on. I can make this work. Made it work. Okay, nice. Let's, um, let's, let's keep collecting. Up, up. There we go. Over. So, I think Pinna Park is a pretty interesting level. I like the concept. I think Mario in an amusement park is, is really cool. But, there are some missions later on that I'm not the biggest fan of. I think the roller coaster thing is kind of gimmicky. I'm not the, uh, the largest supporter of the the roller coaster as, as a use for missions, and I think we use it a couple of times, so that's not the best thing for me, but it's only my opinion, and I'm welcoming other people to disagree. If you guys like Pinna Park, let me know in the comments. It's not a bad, uh, bad world at all, but I just don't think it's the, the best in this game. My favorite world is actually um, one of the ending ones. It's not exactly the ending one. Oh, you're going to be difficult to deal with, aren't you? I have an idea. What if I do this and I spin? And I can just grab it. There we go. Woo! Pro Gamer. Okay, I think we need to head back up some more. So I'm going to go over to the pirate ship loading area and use the staircase to just walk right on. And hopefully I can do some, some minor pirate ship parkour to get to an elevation that suits my, my needs. Okay. And then... What? Oh, it dropped an input. Come on. Darn it. If anyone here is, is an, a genius uh, with radio waves, please make an extender for the WaveBird controller that makes it go a decent amount. It doesn't need to go like a thousand feet, just like more than it currently does would be nice. Alright, there's there's what we need. There's, um, there's this. Good. And then I think up there there's a blue coin, but I, I don't know how to get to that one right now. We are unable. Currently unable. We will get it though. It is it is currently an impacted job, but we will figure it out eventually. But what we can do is walk here along the edge and grab this. And I think we have to loop around to grab the last one. Yes. Um so let's Um ooh, Okay, good job. Those are quick button presses I had to do. Grab on Whatever. There's a I can't get that one either. I think we're going to need the rocket nozzle at some point to grab grab some other coins, so we'll have to keep that one in mind, high above the boat and above the green cage. Those both have blue coins that we need to grab. But we've seen them, so we know they exist, and that's always helpful. When I'm looking for I'm like, dang, I could really use two blue coins right now. And everyone's like, oh, I got you. I know where you can go. And I'll be like, really? And they'll be like, yep, and I'll be like, thanks. Um, I tried this, didn't I? Didn't go so hot. Ah, new strategy though, new strategy. Is there a platform? No, okay. New strategy is to do the, the loop around. There we go. And there's our blue coin. Awesome. Okay, so we're just gonna have to... Oh, blue coin. I said I did the wrong color again. I know colors, I swear. Alright, here's our shine sprite. There we go, problem solved. Bang. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue the game and end the episode. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. If you have enjoyed, please hit like and subscribe. Tell a friend about the series if you are inclined to do so. I'm having a great time playing this game, and from the looks of the views on the videos and the activity in the comments section and the likes, you guys are enjoying it too, which is awesome. I'm super happy that we're all able to play this game together. Make sure you guys tell your friends about the series if you are interested in doing so. I'll see you guys back here next time, as always. Until then, take care.